Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup look that all of you guys are going to be obsessed with and I know you're going to wear every day. Like, I'm not kidding. This is going to be your everyday summer makeup tutorial. Everyday go-to makeup routine. This is going to be it because you guys have been asking for this non-stop on my videos, on my Instagram. So, <laughs> okay, that sounded like super conceited up my own ass. But like for real, you guys have really been wanting to see this look and I'm super excited to show it to you guys because I have been wearing it every single day and I have been so obsessed with it. It is such a good look. It's glowy, bronzy, sexy, and it's like you look sculpted, okay? It's just a really pretty, fun, summery look. It doesn't really come off my face. It stays on very well in the heat, very well. When I, I went swimming in this the other day, it stayed on. So all these people that are like, take her swimming on the first date, haha, <laughs> good try, this stays on. If you guys are new to my channel and want to subscribe, be sure to hit that button right down there, subscribe, join the Starling fam. And if you're ready to go, let's get onto the tutorial. Foundation has been changing like every day, but today I picked up the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I like when my foundation gives me a tan because then I don't have to go outside in the sun and I don't have to get damaged by the sun. My skin stays nice and youthful and radiant and um this is like self tanner for your face so just give it a chance please give it a chance this by the way is a real techniques expert face brush i love this brush but yeah this has been the makeup that i've been wearing in all of my instagram pictures it's like been my go-to makeup this past week i have been like thriving this past week i've had so much fun this past week and like I think it's just because I've stopped saying no to any opportunity that presents itself and I just started saying like, yeah, like, let's do it. And because I've been like thriving and because I've been like doing so much stuff, I've been posting pictures because I actually have content to actually post now. I've been posting them and a lot of you guys have been asking for the makeup in them. I've been super into cream contour and I really think this is a huge key to why I've been looking so like sun-kissed lately because I'm not tan. It's, I think it's really cream contour. So this is the the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And honestly, the new Kim Kardashian West Beauty line has really inspired me to start cream contouring, but I didn't want to buy her products because I can already imagine exactly how they would be on my face. But I just feel like it would blend out so much that it would almost like disappear. But I've been seeing everyone cream contour. So the other day I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. When I did that, everybody was like, your makeup is amazing today. And I was like, Thank you so much. And then I'm going to take uh, just this It Cosmetics brush and a little bit of Fix Plus. Get that all up on there. Doing face makeup with hoops on is challenging. Oh, so I just blend this out and you can like see the difference of just how glowy it makes me look. And then on my nose, I just sort of pat it in because I don't really want to smear it all around. Concealer today, I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. Um, and concealer, I've just been using a little bit, especially when I do it after my cream contour. I don't really like to put on a lot of concealer. Have you guys heard French Montana's new album? Because it is so dope. You know that song, Hotel Bathroom? I'm, one, obsessed with it. But as soon as I heard it for the first time, I noticed that he says bath womb, not bathroom, he says bath womb. So now every time I hear the song, I kind of giggle a little bit because of the way he says bath womb. What does that mean? Because like I have a lisp too, so I totally get that like you can't help how you pronounce certain things. But I don't know, like it's, it's just kind of funny to me. Tell me you guys hear bath womb too, because he definitely says bath womb. Whatever. Okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to set this before I start to crease. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way powder, loose powder. I really have been digging this powder lately. I think it just makes my skin look really flawless. And I'm only putting this where I concealed. Hotel bath womb. See how just matte that makes me? Like, I'm just so mattified. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever HD... Uh, powder foundation in the shade 155 and I'm just going to take that on this big powder brush and I just like to set wherever I put the cream contour with this and I do go everywhere but I mostly set my under eyes with the translucent powder and this darker powder on my cream contour this just keeps the dimension in my face MAC sent me this brush the other day it's the 140 S which I think means short handle um, but this is Hula Bronzer, but let me just like, can we just like look at this brush? 
I really love it for bronzer. So this is Hoola. And I've just been going ham with the bronzer, okay? Like heavy hand on the bronzer is the way to go. This is how you get a tan without going out in the sun, okay? You don't have to sweat. You don't need to slick oil all over you. You can just get nice and tan with some makeup products. Now on to highlight. My favorite highlight in the summertime is Soft and Gentle by MAC. So I load this up on a Anastasia A23. I take Fix Plus and I spray it a little bit. And this gives me like that super whoa highlight that everyone is about that I never really was about. But something possessed me last week and I was like, I'm just going to go for it today. And um, I've been digging it. And I think this makes the look, okay? Like this and my inner corner highlight and my lid color are the reason that you guys have been loving this look so much. Um, sometimes I put blush on, sometimes I don't. If I do put on blush, it's a little bit of Orgasm by NARS. And I literally just like go like that. That's it. I don't like blush on me. I think I look super weird in blush. So now I'm going to go in with my eye makeup and it's so simple and so easy. I did a look very similar to this last summer, but I changed it a little bit. But this is like pretty much like my summer go-to look. I'm going to go in with Hoola Bronzer by Benefit on a MAC 224. And just slide this in your crease right here. Make sure not to get it too high. Yesterday I got it a little bit too high on my left eye and it was not cute. I was kind of sad about it. And then hit it underneath your eye right here. Then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the Sun Dipped one. These are the colors, and I just use these two colors over here. So I take uh, a brush. This is from Crown. As you can see, it still has like the eyeshadow on it. So I take this shade right here, uh, Tourmaline, I guess? I don't really know. I get my brush nice and coated in that. Just wash this. Then I spray Fix Plus on it. You can use water, whatever you want. Look at how beautiful this color becomes. Oh my god. And I cut the crease like a little tiny bit with it, but like, oh, it's just so beautiful. Then I go in with um, just a little crease brush like this, and I go up right here and I take the shade called Bronze, and I just sort of toss this on the outer corner right here just to blend it in a little bit with Hoola. I keep it mostly on the lid just to give it a little gradient look right here. So I go in with A222 and this is a NYX shade in the shade Raven, just a black matte eyeshadow. Dip it in just a little bit. You really don't need a lot of black here. And I just toss this right here on the outer corner just to deepen it up. Just a little love touch, okay? Nothing too much. Then I go in with like the smaller defined brush and just buff that out. Kind of flick it out a little bit. Now what's ever left over on this brush, I bring underneath my eye. When I'm like just doing this look, I can get it done in about 15 to 20 minutes, which is really, really good for me. Like a full beat face in 20 minutes is really good. I'm going to go in with the with a smaller smudger brush and the same black shade. And I just toss it on my outer upper lash line. I leave the inner corner completely alone. I just sort of like the almond shape that it gives my eye. Then I'm going to go in with my inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with a MAC palette. This is one that I custom made. And I'm going to go in here with the shade nylon, which is the best highlight color ever. It's amazing on its own, but I'm going to wet it for the inner corner. Fix plus water, whatever you use, is going to be your best friend for this look. And then just, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is truly what I came here for. And then I just take a little bit more on the brush and I put it right underneath the highest point of my brow. And then I go in with a little bit of black eyeliner to define my eyes. This is the Stingray Black Eyeliner by Sila Cosmetics and I just toss it in my waterline. So the mascaras today that I'm using are Benefit, They're Real, and Too Faced Better Than Sex. So eyes are done. And then for lips, I keep them in my wallet because this is where I do all my lip stuff. This combo has just been like, you know, you guys know I just, I pretty much only wear nude lips. It's what I'm super confident in, so I don't really like to wear anything else. So it's only nude for me. So this is the um, InSync Lip Liner by MAC. 
and I line my lips and fill them in. I know a lot of people don't like really nude liners because it just makes their lips disappear, but honestly, I don't really care that much. I just put it down for the color. And then I like to go in with this lip gloss by MAC in the shade Oyster Girl. I am obsessed with this. It is shiny, glossy, it has a little sparkle in it. It is just everything I could ever want in lip gloss. And I feel like when I put my lips on, the look is completed. And I also think it just makes my face match my body a little bit better. All right, starlings, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see my last How I Became a Spin Instructor video, that is right here. And if you guys want to see my last makeup tutorial, that is right here. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.